Okay, so we are in my basement. Obviously, it's not a redone basement. I am not in a dungeon, <laughs> but this is where my washing sink is. I've got these three pots filled with boiling water to make the water hot enough. So we're gonna start filling this up. with the tap. Let's get it hot first. The tap actually does come out super hot. It's just not hot enough to melt that lanolin. So we need to add the boiling water to make sure that it's hot enough to melt that lanolin off. And I've got all my staples over here. I'll show you after I these in. Be very careful. Don't want to burn yourself. This is a huge sink, so it's not even halfway full with all three of those. But hopefully it should keep that heat. And when you're washing your wool, when you get it all in there, you're gonna wanna cover it somehow. So I have the, because obviously I don't have a cover for my sink, but I have the press and seal glad wrap. So I'm gonna use this to keep that heat in and let it sit for a good half an hour. So we're gonna let this fill up. It's almost done. We've got a pair of gloves because it's very hot. Then we've got the Unicorn Power Scour. Now this says a half a tablespoon of power scour per gallon of warm to hot water depending on the item. Soak for 15 minutes, rinse in tepid water, do not rub or agitate wool. That is the biggest thing. Do not rub it, do not agitate it, let it sit there and do its thing. Otherwise you could felt it, especially when it comes to a wool like this that is super duper fine. Like I said, it's 14 microns. Um, the gray actually seems like it has a little less lanolin than the white, which is great. So it shouldn't take that many washes if we have it hot enough, which, yeah, I think we have it definitely hot enough. So you usually want to let it fill and then put your power scour in so you have less suds. You don't want a ton of soap suds because that, again, can felt your wool. We've got a ton of wool here. We've got two ounces per section. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So 36 ounces we're going to do in one wash. And this is a huge sink, so we're going to be able to do it. And then I just, when it's done sitting and washing, I take it out and I do a rinse cycle in the washing machine. I put it on a very low cycle and I let it spin it dry for like three minutes. I don't even let it go for the full time because I do not want it to felt. So low setting. If you have one of those genie ones, those things are awesome. I am going to have to get one, but for right now I have to use this which works perfectly fine. Just make sure that you do not have it on a high setting, a medium setting, have it on a low setting as to not felt your wool. Because like I said, something with as fine a micron count as this will felt extremely easily. So you wanna let it do its thing and not agitate it much at all when you move it from one thing to the next. So this is, getting pretty full. It's just got a little bit more to go. 
and then after we wash it, after we're done with our, we're probably gonna have to do two, I would assume, maybe three. Um, I would hope it wouldn't take more than that. If the water is this hot, maybe it'll take one. You never know, it might come out. Um, this last time I washed the gray, it actually did not take that many times. After you use the power scour, you use the fiber rinse, just like I showed you in the yarn tutorial. It is amazing for wool. It's kind of like a fabric softener, but for wool, and it treats your wool. Your wool needs it at the end, so highly recommend Unicorn products. They work amazing. I don't like to use stuff like this on wool. This is not made for wool, and lanolin is not grease. It is a wax, so... I know that a lot of people say to use Dawn, but it really makes not that much sense to me because it isn't grease that you're trying to get rid of. Lanolin is more of a waxy substance, so the Dawn, I don't understand, but lots of people use it. I have used it before and it did help, but it did dry it out a bit and I had to do another wash with my unicorn to get rid of that crinkly feeling to it. So we're full now, very full. Now we're gonna add our unicorn. And this is a lot of gallons, so we're gonna need a good amount of this. Yes, that is very hot, very, very hot. That hurts, so that's good. All right, so now we're just gonna push our wool in. You don't want to agitate it at all, just throw it in there. Sorry, my boiler is running, that's what that noise is. Someone must be cooking upstairs. and seal over it. Keep the heat in. Just want to push it down and make sure that it gets saturated. I need a little bit more of this actually. Oh, that water is already getting brown, so that's a good thing. We are going to cover this with the press and seal to keep the heat in. I love this stuff. It's awesome. Awesome for dyeing too. All right, yeah, that's keeping the heat in there nice. You can see all the steam in there. I might not even have to take this. Like I said, let it sit for a good 20 minutes. You do not want to let it get cold. So it says about 20 minutes on the bottle. 
soak for 15 minutes. Yeah, so 15, 20 minutes, you should be good. And that's your first wash right there. So we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and come back. I'm gonna show you the way the water looks so you know what it should look like after the first wash. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a lot of dirt in there. It's pretty dark in color. It's good, that means we've got rid of a lot of stuff. So now we're gonna take this out and put it in here. So we're gonna take our wool out and put it into the washing machine. All of that water out. You wanna get it in quickly because you want it to stay hot. So you get rid of all of that lanolin, or a good amount of it at least, because this is only the first wash, so not all of it will be out most likely. I'll get a shot of this water so you can see how dirty it is. So we're gonna put this on spin only. There it is. And then we want it on a low setting. So we have it on, we have it on spin only and low. It's gonna run for 10 minutes, but it's not going to take that long. So we're gonna do this. And let all the water get out of it. And as you can see, it's still hot. That's why you can see that steam in there, which is good. That means we'll get the lanolin off. Now this, this is what the water looks like after the first wash. So that's good. We got a lot out. Here's how the water looks without all the bags in it. So we can just let that drain out. Turn this on. Spin only on low and let her rip. All right, so there's no more water coming out of this, so we're gonna stop it. And now we can just rinse. We're gonna rinse some of the soap out of this. Then we're gonna let it soak in the fiber rinse for like five minutes and then do another spin cycle and then put it out to dry and we will be done. So take this out. a few minutes it says on the instructions for a few minutes <laughs> it doesn't even say like how many exact minutes but a few so like three to five minutes and then you're good to go one more spin cycle to get the water out and then we'll put it up to dry and I'll show you the end result a half a tablespoon of fiber rinse per gallon of lukewarm water So, you really don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with this stuff. And if you use too much, then you'll feel like a residue on your fiber. So, you really don't want to use a lot of this. So 
work in there for a few minutes. And then just do one more spin cycle and get the water out and let it dry and we'll be good to go. And I'll show you what I use as a drying rack. I bought a herb drying rack off Amazon. It's circular and you hang it from the ceiling. It's made out of mesh and it works great for drying your fibers or your yarns or anything like that. It's really awesome. So I would recommend getting one. I will put a link in the text section below this video so you can get one for yourself if you want as well as the bags that I'm using. They work really really well for sorting and keeping your staples all going the same way etc. So I will also leave a link for that below and I will show you the end result. Taking everything out of the bags. This is how I dry it. It's my drying rack. <laughs> 